pages of your website work hand in hand with your site's navigation menu to move your website visitors around your site. Easy website navigation is important for a great website, so let's take a look at how we can add, change, and remove these features. Let's start by looking at your website pages. To expand a list of your current pages, click the Manage Pages button from the main toolbar. When it expands, you see a list of all the pages currently attached to your website and an option to create a new page. Let's do that now. When you click the Create New Page button, you're given a few options to choose from for your new page. You can either select a blank new page or copy one of the design templates pages as your starting point. Select the page you want and then click the Next button to finalize the page properties. On the Page Properties panel, enter your page name and file name. The page name is how it will appear in your site's navigation menu and the file name is how the page will appear in the URL. If you want this to be a private page, that means not viewable from the navigation menu, or not published online at all, check the appropriate box here. Also on the Page Properties panel are your page's SEO details. SEO details are vital to increasing website traffic and improving your website's ranking in search engines such as Google, so be sure to complete this information. Our website design templates come with preloaded information which you can change. When finished, click the OK button to create your new page. You'll see the new page listed under Manage Pages and, unless it's hidden, in your site's navigation menu. Also under the Manage Pages button, you can open up the Page Properties panel for your existing pages, copy an existing page, or remove it. Click the Manage Pages button, then hover over a web page. You'll notice a few icons appear to the right. The Page Properties icon will open up the Page Properties panel where you can rename a web page and adjust your SEO details. The Duplicate Page icon will create a copy of the page, and the Delete page will remove it. Please note the home page cannot be deleted. Lastly, if you want to create a subpage, that is a website page which appears underneath another web page in the navigation menu, click and drag the page underneath the parent page until you see an arrow appear, and then let go. Both the Manage Pages menu and your website's navigation menu will update immediately with this change. To undo the subpage, just reverse the process. With our pages sorted out, let's look at customizing our website's navigation menu. But before we go into changing any options, we recommend saving a copy of your current navigation menu or backing up your website so that you can easily recover a copy of your current navigation menu if you make too many changes you end up not liking. To customize your website navigation menu, start by clicking it. This will open up the Settings panel on the right-hand side of the Website Builder. The Settings panel is divided into two tabs, Box and Navigation. On the Box tab, adjust how the object displays on your website page, such as adding a border to the entire navigation menu. Under the Navigation tab, you can adjust the different states of your navigation menu, such as how it normally looks on your website page, how it looks when a mouse hovers over one of the pages, and how it looks when a page is selected. For advanced users who want to customize every aspect of their navigation menu, click the More Options button to expand a list of customization options available for your navigation menu. For more support and help using the Website Builder, click the Help button on the main toolbar to select one of our other help options, or get instant support by chatting with a live agent.